Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with a, another LEGO City update. So in my last update, you would have seen that I really focused heavily on this park area here, finally adding it to my LEGO City, as well as working on the amusement park and redoing the fencing along the boardwalk area here where all the modular buildings are. Now in this video, I really want to focus more on the park and the amusement park area. Um, as you can see, it's very underdeveloped. It's a pretty open shell, so there is lots to do. So far, all I've been doing since the last video is tidying up a little, getting a lot of the extra parts that you would have seen out of the way, um, as well as I have continued the fence on because I really love those iron gates, and although they'll probably be always open, I, I just like having them in the city and the option to close. So I'm going to extend the wall down there past the old fisherman shop as well, and then I really want to start developing the park and finalizing the amusement park area. And then, as I also mentioned in the last video, I am still looking at ways to... I have a couple extra buildings that aren't in the city that I would like to integrate. For example, I added the bank back here. And although I didn't originally think I was going to put anything there, uh, I could easily add a bunch of eight uh, stud buildings along here, which I have several extra of, and make that a one-lane street, which I think would be a very good option. Um, and it would add some more detailing to the back here. But I'm also thinking about moving this skyscraper over a little and actually removing the hospital from the city just because I it's been in there for a really long time and I think I'd like to add some other buildings now. But honestly, we really have to wait and see what the city update will bring. So I've been doing a bunch more work here since I last turned on the camera for the introduction. But I'm really liking how everything's looking. So just a quick overview now. The Ferris wheel or like the amusement area has stayed the same. But I have moved some of these buildings around. So now there's four buildings um, with some alleyways in between. And I'm going to add some like food court seating and things like that. These are restaurants and toy shops and things you'd find in an amusement park. I still have to redo the front sign here, and I was looking at different ways to do that, but I do like the big Duplo bricks design that I used for the Legoland, because, you know, that's what it's like in person, but boy, oh boy, honestly, I, I can't get over the dock. I know I said this earlier, but I absolutely just love that view. Um, I'm so happy with how that turned out. Um... I really, really like it, so that's great. But then the beach here is looking great as well, so I finished fencing everything in. I added some trees, subject to change, of course. There, Nothing is in there set in stone. Uh, I just wanted to kind of list it, put them in, see what it looks like. And then the beach, I've got to you know, dress up with all the beach stuff. And then, of course, the old fishing hut, I think, looks really great in the city. And I went ahead and I added the city museum as well. Originally, I was going to have it a different direction, like you would have seen in the last city update. But I think this looks great and I didn't originally want to look at it from the back and see it like this but I'm never over in this part of the Lego room I'm only ever here so I'd only ever see it like that everything else here is looking pretty standard over here I did actually finally put in the fountain which I think looks really cool and I want to add a lot of flowers and things like that but I love the fountain and then I added this flower piece and then this tree as well because I thought it would be good to have some greenery in the city and then of course I finally finished the tiling and then at the back I also added the NCIS building like I said that I wanted to took it the hospital temporarily but I really like how the NCIS building looks back here and then I've got to do all the flowering and all of that as well and then I put the Avengers Tower on there with the helicopter pad again I like how that looks and then moving on by bricks tower as i mentioned i wanted to add some more buildings back here so as you can see there is the bank the friend's school and then the burger shack is way back there really hard to see but when you do look at it from a better angle like this it looks a lot nicer than just seeing the white wall so i am really happy with how things are looking right now this is the full overview and right next, I, I really have to spend more time working on the park here. As you can see, my build table is a mess right now, and there is stuff all over the floor. I've been doing lots of vacuuming because, you know, a lot of, there was a lot of dust, and I've been using the, the bigger vacuum as well as the small vacuum to dust everything, and then I've been doing lots of building. And I am trying to sort things as we go along because I don't want to end up with a ton of pieces left to sort 
at the end of this project. So over the last few hours, I've been going around in the park trying to add some, you know, life to it. I, I think it looks pretty cool. So as I mentioned, the museum is now over here and I've added the sidewalk. So leading up to the museum is a, you know, a red carpet and then the sidewalk goes all the way in. It's like a pathway right from the front entrance here. And it was important to not have it just straight because I think it looks a lot better. And I've added a bunch of different trees, including this really tall one and then these ones and a couple other varieties. These ones are like brick built trees. And then I still have the mold, molded trees that I will add in eventually with all of the flowers. I've gone ahead I've gone ahead and kind of added some actual park things like this fountain and then this bench over here, but for the most part I haven't done too much work to the actual park, but I have been doing things to the beach. So as you can see, I've really filled it up with a lot of beach life, including minifigures, umbrellas, we've got some people playing volleyball over here, the lifeguard. I, th I like how that looks, I added a bunch of sandcastles as well, and it's really starting to look like a beach theme. And then I've also put some minifigs in the water, swimming, the different waves, we've even got some scuba divers over here, and then lots of different people, you know, canoeing or playing on surfboards, which I might take a few of them out, it looks a little too crowded, but for now, um, that's where we're at. And then over here at Legoland, I've done more as well, so the path now continues right up to the dock area and then you enter Legoland here. I shortened the sign and the roof to fit a little bit more nicer there and then on the other side as you can see I have started the tiling and I've also made this ticket booth which I'm really excited about. So this is what the ticket booth looks like from the other side. It's kind of hard to see but it's got like the 60 years of the Lego that special brick. And then as you can see, this is where people can buy their tickets. It's got like a little counter as well as even a little spot for money to go through. And then right beside that on each side, these are like the doors that you can actually open up to have your minifigures walk into the park after they've already paid. And then of course behind that, this is where the Legoland employees are going to be. And I've also included some lockers as well because I wanted to make it realistic to how an actual amusement park would be. So I've just finished going through the amusement park here and as you can see since the last time I turned on the camera I've really done a lot of tiling work. So with the with the exception of this part here that's going to be used for a food court and I want to do some kind of different design with all the tables and chairs around, the amusement park is pretty much complete um, tiling wise of course. So I have these four buildings over here they are all now finally fastened in place not just set there like they previously were and all of the tiling has been done around them. Um, this is what it looks like, as well as the carousel set in place, and you can see all the tiling is done around it as well. And then I even included this part from the Pirate Roller Coaster. I really liked it. I thought it would be fun for the amusement park. It's set in place, and then the only thing not set in place is this ride, because I honestly forgot about it. Um, so it's just set currently in there, but I probably won't rip up all the tiles, um, but we'll have to see. The Ferris wheel is also in place. What I've done is gone ahead and move, removed everything from it, like all the fencing and flowers, because I want to go and redo that all at once. And I've even fastened in this right here that's kind of at the end. I just honestly threw it in there. And then this building down here, I'm still going to put there because it's a night. It looks great. It looks fine. I might as well put it somewhere. But I'm going to do some tiling work um, to get it in because. As you can see, it hasn't been tiled in. But other than that, I'm really happy with how this is looking. I especially like this ride right here, and I just added a little base to make it look a little bit better. Next step for the amusement parks is definitely just to finish up the tiling area there where the food court's gonna go, and then of course adding all of the minifigures, the plants, and just everything else that makes it uh, a Lego land. And then of course all the decorations on top of the sign, so I've got minifigures and stuff to go there as well as things and, you know, Lego things to go there. And then the park is pretty much the same. I don't think I really changed any of it from the last time I turned on the camera. But again, there's just lots more flowers and stuff to be added there. But overall, it's looking really good. And I'm very excited for the progress that I've made, especially over the last two LEGO City rebuild updates. I'm thinking it looks really great. And of course, nothing's really changed yet in this part of the city. I still have to work on adding all the flowers and stuff like that, actually adding minifigures and things. But overall, really liking 
how the city is looking. And that's actually bringing us to the end of LEGO City Rebuild update number four. So thanks everybody so much for watching. Please don't forget to stay tuned for Rebuild update number five. The city is coming along really nice and I don't think there is too much more to go until it'll just start turning into LEGO City tours instead of LEGO City Rebuild updates. But anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.